Hey everybody, welcome back to Ghost of Thornton Hall. I'm Danny, and when we left off last episode, we did a bunch of um, snooping on Jesslyn's phone, and we had a bunch of couple, a uh, bunch of puzzles involving Ethel. So we found her grave, we opened the box, and we finally got that missing six. So now we are about to head through this door in the cellar that we opened. So let's see. Jesslyn. Oh. Yes. You're safe. I don't know who you are. Nancy, Wade hired me to help find you. Really? Wade? Yeah, he seemed really worried. Oh, man. My family's just a hot mess. What is wrong with us? Nancy, you can't tell anyone you've seen me. No one. So you did run away. No, I, I can't say what happened. And you can't either. I can't agree to that. I came here to find you. Good for you, but I came down here not to be found. All right, so she said she didn't run away, but she came down here to not be found. I don't want to threaten you, so I'll just offer to help. Let me help you. Fine. You haven't left me much of a choice. You were hiding out in the tunnels because you and Harper are working together? Why? I didn't come here intending anything more than a good scare. Harper found out I was coming and snuck up on me. She almost died. I had to give her a paper bag for the breathing to calm her down. <laughs> That's awful. You shouldn't be proud of that. Oh, grow up. You didn't die. I'd been told my whole life that Harper was crazy. What a coincidence. Me too. <laughs> Ignore her for a second. Come here. Secrets don't make friends. Look, she's not as nuts as she seems. That, as they say, is debatable, my dear lamb. Stop it. She needs to know. Leave if you don't want to listen, but it needs to be said. I'm sorry, Jessalyn. I'll go. The night of the fire, Harper was there. My whole life, my mother's kept me away from Harper. Said it was for my own good. I came here looking for Charlotte's ghost, but instead Harper found me. She told me that my mother was responsible for Charlotte's death. What? And I stayed to listen. I didn't laugh. I didn't run away. I stayed and listened to every word because my mother, because she's so cold. And I believe that it might be true. I don't know if I'm going crazy or if I'm already there, but I have to know, please. I need your help. All right. So my guess then is that Harper is acting crazy so that um, people leave her alone. Maybe not that, but it does make sense that Clara doesn't want um, Jessalyn to find Harper if she thinks that she's going to tell her that she was there at the fire. So... All right. Before I get down to the exact, like, directions, I kind of want to just ask her a couple things about Harper. Do you think seeing the fire is what made Harper... Harper? Imagine carrying a secret that big for so long, not having anyone listen. Yeah, that would be kind of awful. What made you trust Harper? I wished I could explain. I've been asking myself the same thing. My mother had us convinced that Harper was dangerous. I think my mother's been putting this whole family under her thumb, me included, to keep us from finding whatever it was Charlotte was about to do. I mean, she was 21 and it was her birthday. Like, what was she about to do that Clara wouldn't have wanted? I honestly have like no recollection of this game. So I'm actually like feeling like I'm playing it for the first time. So I'm actually really curious now. What can I do to help? We've been doing this Harper's way but we're running out of time. I need you to get the necklace from my mother's briefcase. I'll get Harper to distract her. Why? What's so special about it? Charlotte told Harper to open the locket if anything ever happened to her. But if we don't open it the right way, it'll destroy what's inside. Here, this will help you open the briefcase. <sighs> oh, Lord. If Belle Boyd was a Confederate spy, oh no, one of these. 
then turn on two and five. If not, then turn on one and six. If Charlotte's Masquerade Ball is on October 31st, then turn on three and seven. If not, turn on one and four. If Cornelia died in 1924, turn on four. If not, turn on six. If 54 workers died in the factory accident, turn on 10. If not, turn on 8 and 12. If Jesselyn is serving fried chicken at her wedding, turn on 11. If not, 14. If Harper caused major injuries at the funeral, then turn on 10 and 14. If not, turn on 13. So this just looks like we kind of have to like go around and fact check. My mother knows about the locket. That's why she never lets the necklace out of her sight. You need to find a way to get it. So unlock Clara's briefcase before she returns. I mean, we have to kind of like go checking somewhere to uh to know like the answers to the facts. So I hope it's not like we walk in and her briefcase there and she's not and we can't leave the room because that would suck. So I guess we're just gonna have to look at everything other than the Confederate spy book. So we have all our answers before going in the parlor, I guess. Do you know that Colton is here? I don't have time for that right now. Please go find the necklace and bring it to me. Yeah, this makes me feel awful, but... Sorry to bring it up, but were you aware that Colton's seeing someone else? I'm not all that surprised, to be perfectly honest. You're not? No. The whole thing was mainly my mother's idea. Do you know about Lexi? Colton and I were never in love. We were in a mess. He loved Lexi, and I hope he goes back to her. That's... I'd better get going. Please hurry. It's an interesting standpoint, I guess. So, what are the things we need to know? Oh, that's part of the locket. So we need to know if Belle Boyd was a Confederate spy. I'm just gonna write some of these down. All right, Charlotte's Masquerade Ball. So that would be on her invitation. So. Cornelia. In 1924. 54 workers, I'm 54 souls. So I can answer that with a fact, but I'll, if I'm gonna be going to the graveyard anyway, I may as well like triple check. So, 54 workers. If Jocelyn is serving fried chicken at her wedding, that would be in her bag. And if Harper caused major injuries at the funeral, so that would be in the newspaper article. I believe it said she did, but I don't wanna get this briefcase code wrong, so I am gonna check all of the answers, so. All right. So we have what we need. Let's take a look. Is she serving fried chicken? Okay, yeah, that's right. She, uh... Okay. Yeah, why not serve fried chicken and cheesy shrimp grits? So that was, she wanted to have fried chicken, but she's doing, um, super fancy stuff instead. So, that would be no. She is not serving fried chicken at her wedding. Right? Yes. So, if Jocelyn is serving fried chicken at her wedding, turn on 11. If not, turn on 14. So we're going to have 14 on. Let's see. Where else? I have to go to the graveyard. Oh my god. It's like a fucked up armadillo dog thing. I hate it. All right, so we're not going into the parlor because we don't want to risk um, having her be in the, or not be in there and her briefcase is in there. So masquerade ball, Saturday the 30th of October. So not the 31st. So if her ball is on the 31st, that would be no. So that is then turn on three and seven. If not, turn on one and four. All right. What else? So we have to look at the Confederate spy or the 
female spy book, which is in the parlor, so that's gonna be our last one. We need to look, okay, so now we just have to go outside. Um, we have the two gravestones. Actually, that might be in the family tree. Cornelia, Let's see Charlotte, Harper, Roger, Mariana, Cornelia. So she died in 1971. Cornelia died in 1924, so if not, turn on six. I feel like all of these are <laughs> no's. So we have Cornelia, we just need to look at the factory fire and look at the newspaper in the crypt. I'm sorry, this is just, yeah, 54 souls. So yes, for 54 workers, which means what? If 54 workers died in the factory accident, then turn on 10. 10. So we just have the, the Confederate spy clue and the Harper causing injuries clue left. All right. I feel like my game always like glitches out when we're in the cemetery. All right, so where is that article? Harper Thornton's sister to deceased was carried out of the service by local police following a violent outburst. Witnesses allege Harper Thornton grew agitated during the services, causing thousands of dollars of damages and a few minor injuries. So she didn't cause any major injuries. So a few minor injuries. So if not, turn on 13. So no. 13. So now it is time to head back to the parlor. And if Claire is in there, then I'm gonna be a little bit stuck because yeah, she's there. I mean, Harper is supposed to distract her, but. All right, let's see, who was it? Bell Boyd. Maria Bell Boyd came to the attention of the atten oh, sorry, the attention of the Confederacy early in the war when she shot and killed a Union soldier who had threatened her mother. Although only 17, her self-confidence and wish for vengeance led her to become a spy. Bell found that the flirtatious behavior, which was cause for concern among her peers, could be used to advantage as an undercover femme fatale. After beguiling Union soldiers into telling her classified information, she forwarded the intelligence to the Confederacy. Bell became a courier herself, even personally delivering messages to General T.J. Stonewall Jackson. She was arrested repeatedly, but refused to let incarceration stop her and remained a Confederate spy throughout the war. So yes, she was a Confederate spy. Which is what on our list. Yes, turn on two and five. All right, so we have our list of numbers. All right, can you go away? Hello. Is it true Harper was committed? What? No, she went to a boarding school. It was compulsory, but it wasn't an asylum. Although she was very theatrical about the whole affair. Where did you hear that? From Harper. If Harper is actually here, stay away from her. Oh, because we might, uh, learn something? All right, so now I'm gonna tell on her. I don't know if that's what the distraction is, but. Harper really was down there. I'm not making things up. What do you want from me? Nothing, I just want to find Jessalyn, like you. We already did. Then no more <laughs> games now, okay? I'm telling the truth. Nancy, enough, just go away. All right, uh, sh Harper, can't do that right now. Leave me be. Harper, you could really come in handy right now. Um, before she returns. Yeah, well, she hasn't even left, so. That's done. We did that. Did that. Um, I mean, do we have to, like, go back and tell Harper that we're ready for the distraction? Like... And Harper's not there, that figures. All oh, right, because she said she would leave. Will Jocelyn talk to me? Hey. No. 
I'd better get going. Goodbye. Can we go further down the tunnel that Jessalyn was in? I need to find a way to light the tunnel first. Oh, so we need to get the generator working. That's where Jessalyn is. Hey. Goodbye. Goodbye. So apparently we can't do it while she's standing there. So really is just needing to uh, get to the briefcase. Like, do we just hang out in here and wait for Harper? I mean... Do we have to have done the clocks first, maybe? I mean... I guess we'll take a shot at the clocks then, just because I don't want to just stand here and wait. I was going to say wait for Charlotte. Wait for Harper. So we did figure this out. Two clocks run at the correct speed, two run at the same but slower speed, and one runs faster than all the rest, and they all have to land on 12. So is that what I figured out? So maybe it's not... I don't remember much about this game, but I remember that this puzzle drove me up a wall, so... Um, so I guess we can find which clocks are which, like which one goes correct, which ones are slow, and which one is fast. So these are all starting at 12, so I guess the two that are the same on normal. I mean, you can also kind of see. So this one is the fast one. This one is slow. No. These two are running the same, and these two are running the same. So these two are correct? Okay. Oh, I lost it. <laughs> this one is definitely fast. So two is fast. And then... I want to say the middle one was slow. I think one and four were fast and no. Hang on. All right, three and five are slow. And one and four four are correct. All right. All right. So, oh God. So I'm just gonna go with like, everything is off by an hour, I guess. So like the... So if we're going by an hour, if it's right, then they run for an hour. So which ones are on? One and four are on. Three and five are... Um, 
one and four are on. Two is fast. Three and five are slow. So how many rotations does it do? So one and four, oh, those almost all landed at 12. <laughs> Shoot, these two landed at six and those are the uh, slow ones. Shit. Oh God. So these two are on. So I'm gonna see how many rotations these make. So I started at 12. Okay. So I started at 12 and they ended at 6. Does that mean they moved 6 hours? So if these start at 6, are they going to end at 12? <laughs> and this one was 12 to 12, so that I guess is pretty easy. We can leave that there. Um, and then the two slow ones, they were at six last time and now they're at nine. So these go three hours, the other ones go six. These go six hours, this one goes 12 hours, and this one goes three hours. So I want to say that this will work, just the way it is. So if this goes 12, it'll go all the way around again. The two normal ones will go from 6 to 12. And the two slow ones will go from 9 to 12. Let's see, I guess. Just hope I'm right. nailed it so this opens where does this go oh the sudden stopping of the music doesn't make me feel very good um that looked like it would be a lever uh. what do you want from me the coast is clear time to snip all right Oh, so that's the uh, Hiram, I think it is, portrait. So Harper did uh, Locked. fake the singing. I need to figure out the right combination. Okay. So I had turn on to, okay, I need to look at this first. So hang on, one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. I don't know how I would solve this if I didn't have my notebook on hand. Um, so we need to turn on two and five. So one, two, three, four, five. Turn on two and five. Turn on one and four. One and four. Uh, turn on six. That's six, right? Yeah. Uh, turn on ten is the right over here. Turn on fourteen and turn on thirteen. Got it. 
This must be what Jessalyn was looking for. And then it looks like our locket goes in there. Oh, can we really not snoop at anything else? That's upsetting. Alright, well. If we go back, is she gonna be in there? Yeah. Yes. See you later. Bye. Alright. Well, at least we got the necklace. And um, let's return. Is Harper gonna be there? No. Hey. I found the necklace. Good. Wait, shoot. It's missing a front piece. I need you to find it as fast as you can. It triggers the opening mechanism. This necklace was used by spies in the Civil War. If you open it without the missing piece, it shreds the message inside. And we already have it. I found the locket. Here. I can't open it. I'm going to need your help. This looks like it matches one of the notes I found. Does it? <laughs> um... Oh, that's the 1867 mom, right? I think, if that was what it was. That's done. I'm just gonna do this first. I'm like crazy about having to have my checklist updated. So we found the locket. Check. Did that. Did that. Got this. Did that. Did that. Check. All right, so we're down to the last couple. Mom, 1867, right. What? Like W, right? So we have to enter like three different things. Okay, what's Charlotte's mom's name? Charlotte's mom is Mariana. Nope. All right, I'm just gonna have to sketch this one out too. So the top is M. Three-ish o'clock is T. And then in between we have R E. And then N is going to be 6 o'clock, and in between it there's L. And then N, H, V, I. Okay. So first we need Mariana. So we M. There is no A. <laughs> yes, there is. Why? Oh, okay, I wrote an A. What? I wrote another N instead of an A. All right, no need to panic. So A, R, I, is it A and an A? Yeah, Anna. Okay, Mariana, 1867, so someone who was born or died in 1867, I'm gonna guess. It was 1867, right? I'm like so, I'm not gonna get this right. So 1867 will be like up in here. Hurium, 1867, is there anyone else? It looks like he's the only one. Right, so it's probably Emmeline. Last. So first we have to do Hiram, H I R I A M. So H I R I A M. All right, and now I think Emmeline. So it was right. So E M E L I N E. So M R E E M E L I N E. That's it. Here you go. What's it say? I can't. I'm gonna go see her myself. Um. If I can get this working, it should light up the tunnel. Oh, if Jessalyn confronts Clara, things could get dangerous fast. Oh boy. <laughs> this is what was in the locket. 
Clara can't be trusted. Harper needs to know the truth. Align the notches to the outside levers, then lock the levers according to the following. Alright, so this I'm definitely going to have to write down, but this also is written by Charlotte. So if Clara was the one who apparently caused Charlotte's death, what did she do before? Harper needs to know the truth. Align the notches to the outside levers. So I'm just going to copy this down first. So that looks like an arrow pointing down into the right. And that's going towards it. That's one, three, four, five. And then down into the right, up into the right. Up and to the left, up and to the right. Up and to the right, down and to the right. So one, two, four, five, seven. One, two, three, five, seven. And one, three, four, five. Okay. So is that gonna be this? The motor won't work no. unless I find a way to move that ball bearing down into the shaft. So this is going to be one of those. Into this shaft. Okay, because then that's blocking it. So it has to come from this side. So is there... If I do another lever, is it going to... I'm wondering if some levers... Oh. I can't go that way. Yeah, because I don't know, like, if some levers... Like, undo other levers? here once that's already up and that's down but now I need to get through there not up yet. How do I make this go up again? Now I can't even get down there. Um. Naturally. Now can I go back through here? Oh my god. 
gosh. Now this needs to come down. Seriously? believe I can go down here now so I'm gonna leave that until the next episode so if you liked what you saw feel free to click like or subscribe it means a whole lot to me and um, we will investigate this narrow lit tunnel when we get back next time so thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video